，来了一个民间的高手，他他不相信，他三十秒，就是我们三头狂人给他打三十秒。Like what the guy just said, the self-proclaimed kung fu master in blue is going to challenge this boxer. This boxer is known to have good head movement. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so he's also using his gloves to parry. So it's not just head movement. Notice he's in the pocket. So Kung Fu Master is really confused. He's probably never seen something like this. Some of his punches are being slipped quite narrowly. So he's almost getting him. I'm sure this gives him confidence. Kung Fu Master's like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Wow. He gave up. I've had a rough beginning of the 2024s, but I will tell you more later. The boxer, if you don't understand what he's doing, looks a little sloppy. Of course, for all of us that understand head movement and understand when you're in the pocket and you're off the ropes and you're trying to use it and everything, it's not sloppy. But to the untrained eye, it looks sloppy. For all of you who, let's say you're looking at Kung Fu, are you looking at other styles that don't fit the traditional MMA paradigm and you say it looks sloppy? 80% of the time, I'll agree. Maybe it just looks sloppy. But maybe the other 20% of the time, it's just that we don't know what we're seeing. Just a thought for you. So let's watch another Kung Fu Master take on a boxer. Okay, guys. So Kung Fu Master is in blue. And, dude, he came with a sweater. Look at that. He's got a sweater vest. The boxer is in red. Ooh, a little jab. Kung Fu Master got some attempt at power. I'm not even going to say real power, but attempt at power. He's swinging wildly. Boxer does have a reach advantage and probably a weight advantage. But there you go. Boxer's playing with some angles. He's pretty good with his split jabs. And look at that. Just boxers are good with their close distance punches, right? That's something that I think... Most Kung Fu guys aren't very practiced. And the Wing Chun people would claim that they could do trapping range, but I think the Hungar people are the only people that seem to have to be able to pull off close range trapping and hitting. So we'll watch this in slower motion. So that was a hook, lead hook by Boxer. Kung Fu, again, his sweater vest, man, just cracks me up. Take off your sweater vest, man. That's so funny. Another split jab. So that was a wild overhand, and then he swung back around. Now, that swing around back could have been a kung fu move. Might have not been sloppiness. We just don't know, because we don't know what kung fu system he trains. And then, this is where some of the close range trapping and hitting could have helped over right there, but unfortunately, nope. He has to get into boxer's punching range. See, he's just getting jabbed. Boxer's being very nice, man. Just jabs and lead hooks. He hasn't thrown... Okay, that was a power one. So, I was going to say he hasn't thrown too many power shots, but we'll see. And then... Look at he Boxer even <laughs> threw a double punch. He Look at that. He drops his right hand. I guess he's feeling really confident, the boxer, that is. And... You could argue that headgear maybe interferes a little bit with the vision, but it wouldn't have mattered without the headgear. The Kung Fu Mash, I realized, he's stumbling into one-twos. I just realized that he's stumbling into one-twos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just to let you guys know what's going on, I had a little cut in my foot. It was actually a pretty big cut, and it got I-N-F-E-C-T-E-D'd. So you guys can spell that. I'm not gonna go into more. So I'm on antibiotics right now. That was a pretty bad beginning of the 2024. But the good thing is I'm getting better and I am never gonna purchase cheap shoes again. And I am also never gonna wear shoes past what they can be worn. So you're gonna see Jerry balling with nice shoes for now until eternity. There's always a fine line to all these things. But yes, if I look like I'm a mess, it is because I've been quite s-i-c-k the beginning of the year from multiple sources <laughs> when it rains it pours but also i think this is a sign this is going to be a good year i'm going to make some great breakthroughs not just through this channel but i'm doing a lot of other stuff too so anyways guys thank you guys so much fight commentary breakdowns we'll have a lot more in fact because i'm sort of stuck inside today i got another video for you guys another fun one okay talk to you guys soon